It's the moment so many of you have been waiting for. Free Dine and Drinks is back for 2025 at Walt Disney World. I'm going to be explaining how the offer works, plus some of my top Disney travel professional tips too. Disney has some amazing places to eat and drink. Food just seems to taste better when it's Mickey or Minnie shaped. The Free Dine and Drinks offer is a selected Disney hotels on selected arrival dates in 2025. To be eligible for the offer, you need to check in and arrive at your Disney hotel between 7th of January and the 5th of April 2025, 23rd of April and the 2nd of October 2025, 18th of October and the 17th of December 2025. As long as you're checked in on one of these dates at selected Disney hotels, you'll receive the offer for the length of your stay. Minimum stay is 5 nights and the most is 21 nights. Sorry you can't live in Disney forever. Just be aware that not all room types are on the offer. Check with us and we'll be happy to help. This offer is all about delicious Disney dining. So, big question. What is a table service meal? And what is a quick service meal? The easiest way to tell the difference. A quick service is fast food. Pick up your food from a counter, find a table and enjoy. One credit gives you a quick service main meal and a drink. This drink can be anything on the menu including soda, milkshakes, beer, cool mocktails and cocktails. The drink needs to be ordered at the same time as your main meal. There are over 90 places on the quick service plan with a massive range of food including Italian, American, barbecue, sandwiches and even food from a galaxy far far away. I'll be sharing some of my favourites later. Table service is where you'll have a server. This can be either an a la carte restaurant or buffet. This also includes one drink, which can be something like a soda, mocktail, cocktail, beer or wine. Stay tuned for my topics. Snacks range from ice creams and popcorn to incredible cupcakes that are made for Instagram. There's a little symbol on the menu or if you're using mobile order, it will say qualifies as a snack. You get all your credits when you check in and they last until 1 minute to midnight on the day you check out. You can use them whenever you like. Fancy five quick service meals in one day? Knock yourself out. Lastly, at selected hotels, you'll also get a resort refillable mug. These only work at quick service restaurants in your hotel and sometimes by the pools too. These don't work in the park, so don't bring them along. Okay, now we know what each type of restaurant is. What are you going to be getting for free on the free dine and drinks offer? All depends on which category of Disney hotel you're staying at. There are three types of hotel, value, moderate, and deluxe. Let's find out about the different hotel styles. Disney's value hotels are, well, great value. The motel style hotels with the doors facing outside instead of into a corridor. Most rooms have a regular bed and a fold away Murphy bed. This helps give you a bit more space. When you stay at a Disney value hotel during the offer, each guest aged three years and above will get one quick service meal per night. So if you're staying for 10 nights, each guest will have 10 quick service meal credits to use anytime during your stay. My favorite value hotels are All-Star Sports and Pop Century. There are three All-Star resorts next to each other. They're all pretty similar motel style hotels with resort style pools. What gives sports the edge over the other two is that it's the first in the row. So it's a few minutes closer and quicker to get into the parks. Two of the parks that I spend the most time in are Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. And you can get there from Pop Century using the Skyliner. This cable car whisks you into the sky to stay over Orlando to Epcot and then Hollywood Studios. Let's move on to the moderate hotels. These are usually the most popular with UK guests. They have a graded themed pools compared to the value hotels and great locations and also an upgraded dining plan too. Each night, each guest will get two quick service meals with a drink, plus one tasty Disney snack and the resort refillable mug. So again, if you're staying for 10 nights, each person will get 20 quick service meals, 10 snacks and a refillable mug. Stay tuned for some of my favorite places to eat. I really like Coronado Springs. Check out the bar in the Grand Casino Tower. Port Orleans French Quarter is one of Disney's smaller resorts making it super easy to get around. There's a laid back New Orleans jazz vibe here. If you're a family of five and want to be close to more of the thrill rides, Caribbean Beach is a great shout. Yes, it's a big resort, but it has a great pool and it's on the Skyliner making it super easy to get to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. 
if you've got older kids, this is going to be a great shout for them. Lastly, Disney's most iconic and sought after hotels, the Deluxes. These have incredible locations such as on a monorail, next to Epcot, or close to Animal Kingdom. When you stay here, you'll get one quick service meal per person per night, including a drink, one snack credit, and also that resort reservoir mug. But the most amazing thing is that you'll get one table service credit per person per night as well. These can be used at amazing character dining restaurants plus iconic dining locations too. I'll let you know some of my top tips soon. A few things to know. Tips aren't included and a few of the restaurants will use two credits instead of one. If you want to stay in a true Disney icon, I love my stay at Disney Contemporary Resort. It's on the monorail or you can walk to Magic Kingdom in a few minutes. Animal Kingdom Lodge has a brilliant vibe and where else can you spot a giraffe in the morning? Yacht and Beat Club are hotels located next to the International Gateway entrance to Epcot. You can take the Skyliner or water taxi to Hollywood Studios or you can walk there in under 20 minutes. Now I'm getting hungry just thinking about the offer and I have a feeling I'm going to be starving by the time I tell you about some of my favourite places to eat on the dining plan. Let's start with free quick service restaurants. The Tunis Canteen in Pandora, the world of Avatar, is one of my favourites. This modern counter service restaurant is a fan favourite thanks to its fresh food and healthier options. The signature item is the customizable bowl. Start with a base of either salad, bread and sweet potato hash, rice and beans or whole grains and rice, add wood grilled chicken, slow roasted beef, shrimp or tofu and finish with a choice of sauces. The menu also offers steamed pods. These are bayo bar buns with cheeseburger filling, served with root vegetable crisps and a chunky vegetable slaw. The kids' menu choices are pretty similar to their adults' menu too. Located next to the Millennium Falcon is Docking Bay Center. Smoke Hello ribs, named after the creature Jar Jar Binks rode in episode 1, are actually pork, cut vertically to give them an alien appearance then glazed with a sticky sweet sauce and served with a blueberry corn muffin. Pandora Tip Yip chicken is roasted on a salad or compressed into cubes, deep fried and served with mac and cheese and roasted vegetables. And in the afternoon you can also order the famous Ronto wrap. It's a pita bread filled with grilled pork sausage and slaw. Back on earth, the flame tree barbecue in Animal Kingdom doesn't look like much but lurking behind it are a few large covered areas surrounding a pleasant fountain. The furthest ones border the water offering exceptional views to Expedition Everest. Specialities include St. Louis style ribs, smoked half roast chicken, pulled pork sandwiches, smokehouse chicken salad, mac and cheese with smoked pulled pork, and a plant based sandwich. Disney snacks are so much fun from good old fashioned cinema popcorn insta-worthy cakes there's plenty to choose from just look for that dining plan symbol next to the snacks but my top tip is to save your snack credits for a day exploring the world epcot hosts many festivals throughout the year so you'll very likely be going when there's one on it's a great excuse for some tasty treats explore different booths mainly located around world showcase and don't forget to pick up a festival guide to help you decide what to eat and to tick off it as well my big top tip is to use your table service credits for at least one of the dining packages. These give you a brilliant meal and reserve seating for a show. All year round you can do the fantastic dining package in Hollywood Studios and get the best seats in the house for the show that evening. If there's a festival going on at Epcot such as the International Festival of the Holidays then definitely do the Candlelight Processional Dinner Package. There are similar packages for other Epcot festivals such as Eat the Beat. If you have table service then you need to do at least one character dining experience. My faves are Tusker's House in Animal Kingdom Park or Topolino's Terrace. Flavors of the Riviera, Breakfast a la Art with Mickey and Friends. Great restaurant, long name. And of course Garden Grill in Epcot is a firm fan favorite. There are many ways to book your trip to Orlando. Do it yourself. Just remember, book it yourself, sort it yourself. You could try and piece it all together yourself. That could involve potentially countless hours of research, asking Facebook groups for advice and getting conflicting and multiple opinions, and watching so many videos you already feel like you've been there before stepping foot on the plane. 
will be down to you to find out every detail about your holiday and sort out anything that goes wrong. Or book with your regular travel agent. You may already have a travel agent that you normally book with, but this isn't going to be like going for two weeks self-catering in Benidorm. Your special holiday requires special assistance. Or just let someone else do all the work for you. Over 82% of our customers tried to do it all themselves, then decided it was easier and they'd have a much better holiday if they left all the work to us. Of course, you can plan as much as you like. It's going to be so much easier though, having an expert on hand should you have any questions. And when you book your Walt Disney World 2025 holiday with us, you'll also have a really unfair advantage over everyone else. You'll know which park to head to each day. That can save you up to four hours a day. So if you're planning on having 10 days in the parks, that's a saving of up to 40 hours, which is like getting four days extra for free. Pretty good reason to book with us. Well, I hope you found that useful. Has that whetted your appetite? Click the link in the show notes below to start your Walt Disney World adventure. Thanks for now and have a magical day.